Hello, in this video I want to explain the blueprint on the bar wind zone base. This is the basic wind object that calculates all the winds for all the different objects and once it is placed into the level your wind actors will receive wind based on the properties you can set here in the details. So we take a quick look at these details. The first category is wind and we have a physical wind multiplier, particle wind multiplier, gloss wind multiplier and foliage wind multiplier. So all these are multipliers that can add wind intensity to the objects. So I set them to have reasonable values to work with all these objects in a good way. So the physical wind multiplier should always be 1. The particle wind multiplier is 30 here and the gloss wind multiplier has 4 and foliage wind multiplier which affects only the grasses and uh, vertex shader based winds has a multiplier of 30. Wind direction is an internal parameter it will be set on tick randomly so it will have no effect when you set these parameters here unless use random wind direction is set to false then these wind direction parameters will be taken into account and you can set a hard-coded wind direction so the next would be the wind curves you can set up a whole bunch of wind curves here these wind curves look like something like this you have a time here actually so in the time of three seconds the wind intensity will rise to 0.88 and then will decrease to zero again and all these wind curves will be chosen from randomly and one after another will be played randomly after wind, the wind curves you will see a wind sound a wind sound cue is linked here I will have another video that will uh, discuss all the wind sounds, also the wind actor sounds. So now comes the spawned actors and this is actually interesting. The wind itself is not dependent on the box you see here. It is unbound to the box so once a wind is placed you can also have a very tiny box. The wind is uh, used all over the world. But what this box does is it spawns actors. Actually, we can set it to true or false here. Yeah, you can see when I turn it off, all these tumbleweeds will go away. And once it turns turned on again, they will appear. You can set an actor amount here, which is basically the number of entities which are spawned. I clamped the amount from 1 to 80 here. If you want more to be spawned, then you have to change the blueprint itself. Okay. Then you can set the actors to be spawned. In this case, only the tumbleweeds are added here. But you can also add another one, like perhaps the rocking chair. And let's see if we find some. Yeah, here. Here's one. Now we have some rocking chairs here and tumbleweeds spawned. The actor scale multiplayer and the random actor Z scale are no more in use in the wind zone base. I moved them over to the tumbleweeds themselves. Now we can say that all these objects should only be spawned on specific classes which means that currently only on the landscape object these actors are allowed to be spawned so this prevents uh, tumbleweeds to be spawned on like this, this shed here or the fire or, or any other object you can always add objects object classes here but currently I will leave it you can place a wind zone and then have it scaled up and down 
what you see here are the ray casts that are casted from the top of the box to the bottom in a random way and once they hit a surface an actor will be spawned there. Also it is not allowed to place more than one wind zone base but once you do this you will also be notified that there is more than one placed in this level. Also when you now hit play So that's all about wind zones.